Textile production in prehistoric times dates back to at least the Neolithic period, 8000-5000 BC. Early textiles were made from natural fibers such as wool, flax, and cotton, and were used for clothing, baskets, and other household items. The use of dyes and weaving techniques improved over time, leading to more sophisticated and decorative textiles. Evidence of textile production has been found in archaeological sites around the world, including in Europe, Asia, and the Americas. Among the earliest known civilizations to develop textile production were those of ancient Egypt, China, and the Indus Valley, where textiles were used for both practical and ceremonial purposes. Greeks and Romans The ancient Greeks and Romans were also known for their sophisticated textile production, and their innovations in dyeing and weaving techniques were highly influential. During the Middle Ages, textile production became an important part of Europe's economy, with the rise of trade guilds and the growth of cities. The ancient Greeks and Romans were known for their sophisticated textile production and innovative dyeing and weaving techniques. They used a variety of natural materials, such as wool, flax, and silk, to create a range of textiles, including clothing, household goods, and luxurious fabrics. They also made use of elaborate designs, intricate patterns, and bright colors to make their textiles visually appealing. Their innovations in dyeing and weaving techniques were highly influential and were adopted by other civilizations, such as the Egyptians and Persians. For example, the Greeks developed a method of dyeing wool known as carding, which allowed them to produce yarn with a uniform color and texture. The Romans, in turn, introduced the fulling process, which involved washing and beating the fabric to make it thicker and more durable. During the Middle Ages, textile production became an important part of Europe's economy, with the rise of trade guilds and the growth of cities. Textile production was often a family business, with the different stages of production, such as spinning, weaving, and dyeing, being carried out by different members of the same household. The rise of trade guilds, which regulated the production and trade of textiles, allowed for the growth of a more centralized and organized textile industry. Cities such as Florence, Venice, and Paris became major centers of textile production, with the production of luxury fabrics, such as silk and velvet, being particularly important. In conclusion, the ancient Greeks and Romans were known for their sophisticated textile production and innovative dyeing and weaving techniques. During the Middle Ages, textile production became an important part of Europe's economy, with the rise of trade guilds and the growth of cities playing a major role in its development. The 18th and 19th centuries marked a turning point in the history of textiles with the advent of the Industrial Revolution. The invention of the spinning jenny and the power loom revolutionized textile production, making it more efficient and increasing the scale of production. This, in turn, led to the growth of textile mills and factories, which became a significant source of employment in many countries. In the 20th century, the global textile industry continued to grow and evolve, with the rise of synthetic fibers and the introduction of new technologies such as computer-controlled looms. Today, textiles play a major role in the global economy, with countries such as China, India, and Bangladesh leading the way in textile production and export.
In conclusion, textiles have a rich and fascinating history that spans across many cultures and civilizations around the world. From its humble beginnings in prehistoric times to its present-day status as a major global industry, the history of textiles is a testament to the ingenuity, creativity, and resourcefulness of human beings.